Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today I'm in Ealing Broadway, located within the London borough of Ealing. Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today I'm in Ealing Broadway, located within the London borough of Ealing. We'll be exploring some of the areas in Ealing in terms of the shops that it has to offer because it's known for having a lot of culturally diverse shops, especially restaurants. We'll be also checking out key points of interest like the Ealing Broadway Shopping Centre, the Ealing College and the Uni Ealing University. It's definitely a place that you can visit whenever you are in London and we, be, we will be exploring it today. If you're new around here, I'll appreciate it if you can do me a favor. Like the video, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Let's explore Ealing! One of the things I like whenever I'm visiting Ealing is definitely the wide range of different shops that are in the area. And like I mentioned, it does has a lot of restaurants, you know, and food from different parts of the world. So I'm just going to walk to an area just near the Ealing Broadway train station where you will see what I'm talking about in terms of the restaurants that are in this area. We have restaurants in terms of Oriental food, Greek, Mediterranean, Mediterranean cuisine and much more. There's even a Jamaican restaurant which is now available in Ealing. So we'll be checking out all of that today. So let me give you an idea of the view that I can see right now. So right now we're actually outside the Ealing train station. So this is what the train station look like. Now if you're coming to Ealing, it'll be probably one of the first places you um, come to when you're coming here via train. And there are also very good transportation links in terms of buses to get here. So literally just up right next to the train station, if we take a right, it will lead us to this area right here where you can see already we're seeing a shop here called La Roche and they do things like kebabs, peri peri chicken and stuff like that. Now that is quite a popular pastime snack and food for many people here in London. Immediately to my right, if we look up here, we have a Tunisian restaurant and they're serving Tunisian North African food. And right next to it, we have the Woke Stop. Now they deal, I guess, with Japanese food and things like that. So it's very interesting already what I'm saying about this area in terms of some of the restaurants and different things that you can find here. Now further on, as we walk down the the green here in Ealing Broadway, I'm already seeing more restaurants. A funny name here. I mean, look at this name, the hare and the tor tortoise. You know, I'm sure you remember that childhood story, the hare and the tortoise, and they're dealing with, you know, oriental cuisines right here. Now it's a busy time. A lot of students are now finished school and they're walking here in Ealing Broadway. So you're seeing a lot of students, but Again, if you're interested in things like burgers and different things like that, you can get gourmet burgers here and you can see gourmet burger kitchen. Okay, so I'm kind of liking the vibe here in Ealing, especially if you're, you know, you're not planning to go, let's say, central London and you're not looking to go in such a very busy area, but you can come to an area like Ealing and really sample some of the various cuisines that they have out here in Ealing. So this is about it in terms of the Ealing um, on the green side of it, just outside the train station. So let's explore other areas in Ealing right now. So taking you to the shopping center side and then we will go to the university and also the college just to check out the vibe here. In fact, the Ealing University has a very good success rate in terms of their students getting employment after graduation. So let's check it out. So upon exit of the Ealing Broadway train station, if you were to take a right, these are the areas you just saw 
previously. Now we are actually going to take a left and this will lead us towards the Elin Broadway shopping center and other areas we'll be exploring today. So let's check it out. So we can see our normal shops. We have Subway, you know, and that's good, good for providing like sandwiches. Uh, they say subs here. There's also Five Guys where you can get, you know, chicken and chips and different things like that. And if we carry on walking down, again, I'm seeing this place called Ali Berling. Whoa! Okay, now that's Turkish cuisine. A lot of people here may have been to Turkey before. So if you're into some Turkish delights, Turkish foods, you can get that here. There's also a bar. This is a new feature here. It's only been here for possibly a few months now. And this is a, like a bar and it's quite popular during the afternoon evening period where you can come and get a beer or a glass of wine or something like that now this Winslow the last time I visited here okay now that, that would been a long time ago actually not the last time but a long time ago this place here where you can see Winslow's it actually used to be car phone warehouse and now that's a, a, a shop where you can buy and, uh, and get you know plans on mobile phones but it's no longer there it's now a Winslow and you can get things like tea coffee and you know different pastries to eat so that's Winslow so this is actually now we're walking into the heart of Elin Broadway okay this is going to be one of the places you visit most likely when you come and even if you're passing through Elin, all the main buses that goes to other areas like South Hall and different places, they will pass through right here on this road here on the Oxbridge Road. So it's a bit of a chilled evening or afternoon, I must say. People are leaving work. Some people are finishing college children are off from school they're finishing school so at the moment you will see those type of people walking up and down but the vibe is still it's not too busy chill the more relaxed they got a nice laid-back feel actually so this this here across the street where you can see right now let me zoom in it for you you can see Elin Broadway now that's the entrance or one of the entrance on the from the Oxbridge roadside to the shopping center some of the thing you'll see here is things like the body shop again we have itsu you can get different asian salads and different things like that and also a new feature in the area which has only been perhaps for a few months it's the Amazon Fresh. Now that's the Amazon Fresh shop. Now you'll have to order your stuff online, register online, and then you can come here with no cash and pick up and also purchase online and come and pick up some of the things you have purchased online directly from the Amazon shop. So you can get things like food here, there's sandwiches, there's Pepsi, there's different things here. But I can't go in there unless I had did the purchase over the internet online so this is the new system we're seeing popping up here in um, England slowly this is like one of the few Amazon shops I've seen in London and this is definitely the only one in Ealing so we're walking through the shopping center right now typical type of shopping center actually you know from what we've been to in our pre previous series from what I'm observing there's of course the pound land where you can get everything for a pound, sometimes two pound. You've also got your standard shops, retail shop like River Island. Okay. okay. All of that is found there. There's also JD Sports. There seems to be an incident. There. You also have shops like Foot Locker, where you can buy different trainers. Some people say sneakers. 
and all of that can be found here. So this here is actually the back of the shopping center, okay? And um, a lot of um, students also come here and people that are interested in, you know, research and books and different things like that. The reason being, right here, if you can see, to the top, is actually the Elin Central Library, okay? So that, that is where, you know, people will be coming to study or whatever they do right there at the Elin Central Library. So this is pretty much the main um, shopping center here in Elin, okay? The shopping center. Now we do have a lot of high street shops which you will observe, but in terms of the shopping center, these are the types of shops you will find here. And they're even um, got a Marks and Spencer. So you can do your grocery shopping, you can do retail shopping and different things like that in Marks and Spencers. <laughs> this is like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we've seen quite a lot of Oriental cuisines here because again, we're also seeing wasabi and they do things like sushi and different things like that. So if that is uh, food that you're interested in eating, you definitely have um, a wide option here. So this is now the back of the Ealing Broadway shopping center. Now we've observed the different shops. We've seen that they have things like wasabi. We see the retail shops. You can get trainers, sneakers. There's also a Marks and Spencers. And there's also a Photoshop in there in terms of um, artwork and a gallery where you can purchase, you know, different um, photographs and different things like that and paintings. There's also the Ealing Central Library, which can also be found here. So these are some of the key points of interest you will see at the Ealing Broadway Shopping Center. Okay, so I'm going to keep it walking. I'm going to take a left just outside at the back of the Elin Broadway Shopping Center. And that will lead me to places like Turtle Bay where you can get a lovely drink, especially on a Friday and Saturday. It's open all day of the week, but Friday and Saturday is the most lively period to visit. And they serve Caribbean cuisine there. So you could get things like curry goat and rice, rice and chicken, rice and peas. They even have roti doubles and different cocktails and drink can be purchased right there so we'll be checking it out right now so apart from Toto Bay if you find it too busy this right here is also a Gordon Ramsay uh, Restaurant. Well, actually, not really Gordon Ramsay, I'll say, but it's called the Bread Street Ca Cafe. And you can get different things here from drinks to different foods. So, if we have a look at their menu right here, we see they have things like it, it could possibly be a Gordon Ramsay restaurant actually, because they have Gordon's signature beef, Wellington for one, honey roasted carrots, red wine. So, you could get this kind of food here. They have salads. There's also desserts, okay? There's also cocktails and champagne. So yeah, this is, this is it right here, the Bread Street Calf. So that's one of the options and places you can visit. Right next to it, you will find this place, popular brand actually, called Wagamama, okay? And you can get a lot of Oriental cuisines here. And just previously, I was telling you about Turtle Bay, all right? Now, Turtle Bay, serves a lot of Caribbean cuisine and they also have a wide variety of drinks and so literally right behind me right behind me right here it's a bit quiet now but in the afternoon not afternoon evening periods like anytime after six onwards still around midnight 
you will get a lot of people actually coming down here to really enjoy a drink, socialize with friends. There's a lot of reggae, even soca music that usually plays here. And there's a bar right inside, right behind me. You'll see people sitting around, they're getting a drink. There's also a seating area outside, but as it's winter, it could be a bit cold, but seats right here, people will be sitting and having a drink. So this is Total Bay. So whenever you're in Ealing, this is some, if you're looking for a place where you can come and socialize, you can definitely check out Turtle Bay. So onwards, now this place here used to be a place called, um, it used to be a health shop called, I believe, Simply Naturals, but it's now changed to Plant Organic, Plant Organic, and you can get all your organic foods here, you know, things like, you know, the brown rice, spelt, spaghetti, almond milk different fruits and vegetables can be purchased right here vitamins and minerals so if you're interested in certain health organic products you could definitely check out plant organic and it's in Elam Broadway so this is some of the things you'll see outside the area you know there's a seating area where people usually come and sit down and they may enjoy a cup of tea or just to sit and chat you know socialize but especially as we're going into the winter period i guess so much people won't be sitting out as much this is an ice cream shop where you can get ice cream as well another cafe Look at that here, they got some interesting kind of new beef fall of France. So, you know, I guess they're catering for the people who are um, used to the French cuisine as well. Starbucks. There's also another place here as well i think this one is quite new but they give discounts for like students and they also have a happy hour now let's see what time the happy hour runs from so happy hour two for one and that runs from 4 p.m to 6 p.m every day so yeah it's very interesting to see some of these shops because like I said, because of the students that come here to the University of uh, West London, they're catering for that market. So you can see the lovely, you see the lovely grass area right here. Some of the leaves from the trees are now withering away. But right here is actually Ealing College. Ealing Green College. Right here. Bit quiet. Not much students at the moment. It's a Friday. Some has probably left and some are still in class perhaps. But this is it. Healing College. This is what it looks like. Ready. For, ready to work, ready to learn. This is the Ealing College campus.
So this is what outside the college looks like. So if you're interested, and they also have, I think, adult classes as well. They do creative media, different things like that. So this is a view of what Elin College looks like. So if you're ever interested in visiting or checking it out, wondering what's it like from the outside, this is what it looks like. So just outside the Elin College, what we just explored right now, if you were to take a right, it would lead you on to towards the Elin University and also known as the University of West London actually that's the proper name University of West London now they have a few campuses one of which is in the Elin Broadway area so we'll be checking it out real quickly so let me show you what I can see right now so if you take a right outside of the village it will lead you onto this road now I did walk a little bit just for time purposes but as you're walking you'll see the YMCA which is a hostel and you know you have different young people and other people that actually stay there okay and just after the YMCA is the University of West London so if you're visiting the area you might want to check out the university you don't know where it is a key point to look for is literally just after the, um, this campus is just after the univ the YMCA the YMCA hostel okay and just on my left right there you can see it there University of West London seems a bit quiet right now from what I'm seeing but you see a few students are actually congregating right there they're having a chat someone's sitting there eating a sandwich or something like that And they have the sign there saying welcome back welcome it's great to be back and this is what it looks like from the outside okay so and then of course this is where you will enter people are standing there and this is what it looks like from the inside I can't go in now but the next time we'll be exploring the University of West London in greater detail once I can get in you know because of the pandemic and different things like that they have brought about it has brought about a certain level of restrictions in terms of how people can come in to visit there so i do trust that you have enjoyed today's episode we have explored some key points of interest in the ealing area we checked out the ealing broader train station we've seen some of the cultural restaurants like the tunisian restaurants we saw chinese food japanese we also explored the Elin Broadway Shopping Centre, a very key point of interest when you visit an area like Ealing, and we saw what the uh, shopping centre is like. We then moved on towards the college, and you've seen what the college is like, and now we ended the vlog right here at the University of West London. I do appreciate your time, and thank you for your custom of coming back to watch my videos. I'll appreciate if you can do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe, and also share the video with your friends. The more we share, the more we care. I am Wemba Imani, and thank you for watching Inspire for Travel.